Hey, good morning everyone, Trackman44 here. Hey, what you're going to be looking at today is a very new system. I think it was installed in 2016, right before my son bought the house in foreclosure. In appearance, it's not bad, but what we have is a situation that the system is grossly oversized. This is a four-ton air handler blown into ductwork to too small. This ductwork is sized for two and a half tons, maybe three tons if you really kind of stretch it. Consequently, they, they cannot hardly have normal conversation in the rooms directly above the air handle because of the air noise. The return air wants to draw in because of the excessive negative pressure and the supplier wants to billow out because of the excessive supply air pressure. And the noise level is just horrendous. What we're going to do is we're going to be ripping this out in addition to the entire duct network and we're going to be installing properly sized ductwork and a properly sized air handler with a new air conditioner sometime in the spring. And another thing we're going to do, make provisions in the installation to install a wood-fired forced air furnace. That's why I don't like hanging eight foot ducks. Well, at least they got one screw in it.
Hey guys, if you're wondering what these are right here that I'm using, real heavy, heavy grip uh, clamps with adjustable chain. These are all in the HVAC supply houses and they're called helping hands. It's so uh, people like myself can work alone and hang pieces of duct eight foot long and also demo. It helps a lot when you don't want to damage or destroy anything. If we didn't have to worry about the stuff in here, I'd have had 90% of this tore out by now. But i got to be careful because I don't want to damage or destroy anything that's in my son's basement. Sometimes you're in a wide open area, you can just go like crazy. But uh, not so much here. But these are helping hands. Now what I'll do is this one. We'll get the hangers out of this end of the duct and let it just drop in through the chains. I'll knock the other side off and then just drop it down just like that. Area is getting a little bit crowded. I got to clear some of this stuff out. I want to bring my flashlight in and show you guys something. What you're looking at here is two six inch runs um, in the same joist space, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but it's actually drawn through. If you can take, take a look and see, you notice it's through the return air panning right there. So you're blocking a tremendous amount of return air back to the system by running the pipes inside the return air. Now there are a lot of local codes that do not allow in new construction return airs and supply airs to be in this, uh, the same joist space. You're not supposed to draw a supply air through a return. And this guy's got a double. Okay, and if you take another look here, none of these have the, the proper fitting for takeoffs. There's well, the entire supply and return trunk line's totally gone now. So now I'm just gonna walk this off to the side. We get power still on and everything else, so we'll have to recover the refrigerant and everything and uh, bump that system down and all that a little bit later. But my concern is to get this off the side so we can start figuring out the, uh, the chalk lines and stuff, you know, on the floor joists for the supply and return because we're going to switch the supply and return around. Where the, originally it had the return on this side and the supply over here, we're going to have the supply over here and the return on the other side. So we have to do a lot of pre-planning before we start going up with the ductwork. I'm just going to shift this thing around if I can. Just kind of bend the Freon lines a little bit around and uh, let the electric wire on flex connectors just kind of roll with it. give me enough room to get started. Well, as you can tell by looking over my head and looking all the way down to the north end of the house behind me, the demo project is completely done. So uh, all we gotta do now is sweep up the area, pick up the parts and pieces, get all the rest of the debris out of the, the basement, and then begin the process of going back with the new equipment. So you know what? This is Track Man 44, and I'm out of here, guys. <laughs>